Hi, it's Simon. Notion have just released what I consider to be one of their biggest updates in ages, other than Notion AI, better buttons. This gives us the ability to create custom automations and actions that we can use across the system with a simple click. Trust me, this is a good one. Whether you are new to Notion or a no-code Notion master, in this video, I'm gonna show you how these buttons make Notion easier to use and more powerful in the process. And I'm gonna share my five favorite incredible use cases that I've discovered you can do with them to get you inspired and excited. I've been integrating these awesome automation buttons across my new Notion Life OS templates. So in this video, I'm also gonna give you a sneak peek of how I've done that. For those of you interested in my latest Second Brain templates, I am about to release them alongside my very next video published on the channel. So you'll find links in the description and at the end of this video to see them. Let's build some buttons. Use case number one, editing multiple databases with a single click. Let me just show you the basics first. These are all example buttons that I've created for my new LifeOS setup. To make a button, we're gonna do forward slash but, button, there it is, new buttons, and we would select that option. So you can label it, add an icon or an emoji, and add steps, and there can be multiple steps in an automation. I'm gonna show you how to create this one first, a new journal entry example. So you would add maybe a little pen in on there. I'm just gonna leave that. This shows you that it's not ready to go. Here's one I made earlier. Let me show you this. In my LifeOS system, I have a habit tracker, uh, which is a, a daily tracker, which is named by today, at today, generated automatically, and then habits to check off. One of them is journaling, and that happens in a different database. So if I click new journal entry, watch what happens. It opens up the journal database inside Peak with a new entry. I can select the templates that I've created and it will generate those, so I'm ready to go. And what's really cool is you'll notice down here, if I close that, it's not only linked the new entry to the tracker, but it's also checked the checkbox in the tracker saying that I've done it. Pretty incredible. So this is a game changer because it allows us to edit one database, mark it off in another. You could create really complex automations in a single click. Let me show you how to make this one. So we're gonna go in, the first thing I wanna do is add a page to a database. We're gonna select the journal. We're going to leave the name untitled because I use my templates to do it. We're then gonna add another property. And in here, you can edit all of the properties. So I could link it to certain projects if you wanted it to be project specific. I might relate this to an area because in my areas dashboard, I have personal development and I think journaling is related to that. Next, I wanna see the page that I'm editing. So I'm gonna click open page, select the page. And what's really cool is these little prompts come up for the automation itself. The new page added in the last stage of the automation. Perfect. And I'd like to see that in side peak. Next, I want to edit pages. And this time I wanna edit the daily tracker database, which I'm linking the journal to. So first of all, I wanna pick the day. It can be all paid days, but I want to do it where the date created is today. And that means that it will always be this new entry. And the property I want to edit is journaled, was checked. And I want to link the thing I've created to that database. So that's my completed journal entries. And I want to add the new page we added. So if I click done, let's try it. Click. It turns up, I can select, I wanna do a weekly review reflection. My template comes up, it's checked that I've journaled and it's completed it. How cool is that? So example two is being able to generate parent and sub items together. Yes, this is big news. This can be for creating sub tasks and tasks, formatted sub task lists, notebooks with notes, goals with milestones, check this out. So here I have a very simple automation that just adds a page to the task database, fills in a couple of properties that you do here to be the due date being today and the status being not started. Now, of course, you could easily make this quick tasks that you regularly need to do. So you could name it in here, but I'm just doing that as a quick general button to uh, create a new task. So for example, if I just open up my new inbox and Click a new task, 
we'll see it turn up there. I can set the basic template. Hopefully they're gonna update it so that these do add templates. Uh, but there you go, it turns up in there. But where it gets really exciting is in this example of creating a parent with subtasks in one go. That's not been possible before. So if I go to my today view, this is a new automation I've created to create a task and then a new subtask where the parent task property is the task above and the blocking property is blocking the task above. So that means that if I create this new task, it turns up here and you'll see that I have a blocking property here, what's waiting, what's not, and it's ready to go. If you wanted to go further with this, you could do things like duplicate blocks below. This time I want to adjust it slightly. I'm going to remove the blocking from this one because I don't want that to be blocking anything, but I want this one to be blocked by the first task above it in step two and this second task to be blocking the original so now this should be ready to go this should be waiting on this one and this main task should be waiting on the top and i want to open the main task so i can edit it here and i'm also going to make that open in site because i like it better so now when we create it You'll see this time we have subtask one is actionable, subtask two is waiting, and there you go. Look at that, they're listed in here. So use case number three is custom dependent task lists for regular actions. This is a really big deal for people who do repetitive tasks. Um, I use this in my creative OS, uh, where I manage my content for this channel, as well as things like clients or products, whatever it might be, this one is really gonna make a difference for database templates. Here's an example video. And in this example video, we have the main lists and there's a task list with generate new video tasks. This is huge. So if you regularly do something like create videos like I do, adding tasks into the task lists of your system, it's been a nightmare for me. I've never been able to do it properly. Now I can just do it with a click. So this automation literally lists tasks by name, in order, each one blocking and reliant on the one before it, and each one has the parent within it. That means that if I generate a new list of tasks, you'll see all of the tasks come up with the first one ready to go. There you go, new video example. Let's jump back into the video, and you'll see within the task list, I now have all of the actions, and I can just check them off, and gradually it marks the progress of the parent task. The great thing about this is it's all linking back. So if I jump into the today view and see what my do today list is, we'll see there's the create video and you'll see I'm at 50% and everything that's left to do is listed here. Pretty incredible. Use case number four is menu buttons. Now, many of us build our own menus to customize them into our systems. I've got two great examples of this. One example is to open a page quickly as a pop-up, and the other example is to open side peak pages and the dashboard of that page. In my Notion Life OS, I have a main uh, synced menu that links to all of the pages within here. Rather than, for example, jumping to a page, if I click on knowledge, it jumps to knowledge. What I want to be able to do is have something pop up, and this is really good for things like a regular reference. So I've got a guide video here. This button simply just pops up the guide for the template above and comes back to the same page. So it's really simple to do this. Let me show you how it works. You can probably work it out. We're gonna do forward slash button. This is how quick it is. We'll call this quick guide EG. I'll add a step and it's simply open page in center peak, select the page, done. And we can click on it and the page comes up. Now the second example of this is to add something to a database and open its dashboard. So let's add a new action in here. We're gonna create a button. And why don't we do a new expense? So we're going to add a page, select the database, expenditure. So the next thing I wanna do is open as a full page, the finance tracker where it is. Let's set the financial year as this current financial year and then add another to open a page, which is the page we added in SidePeak. That means I am editing a database, going to its dashboard and seeing the new entry opened in SidePeak above that dashboard. Let's try it. Here we go. New expense, finances, new expense is ready to go and it will be listed down here. 
How cool is that? Now, use case number five is about marking things as reviewed. This is how I manage projects in my Live OS and why the button is gonna be so powerful. So in my little section down here, I can review projects and I can review milestone deadlines. If I jump through to this simpler view of it and open up the weekly review, I essentially have things that are due for review um, marked because they have a review date when they're required and it just means they filter up in this view. So for example, if I go into my freelance project, I have a button I've created called Mark Project as Reviewed and simply it edits the current page that you're on. This is really cool, so I can put this inside the page I'm in and select the property and mark the last review date as today. If we click into this, this one's in my content OS. If I click mark as reviewed, it disappears from the page. Really, really simple. I also like, while we're here, another little example is to create buttons that are relevant to areas of work in different databases. So what I tend to do is, you know, when I've reviewed the week, I might want to write a weekly journal reflection on the week. Uh, so I've created a little automation here, which creates a database entry. It opens up the page and it also adds to today's habit tracker that I've added this new page to it. So. I can click on that, it'll jump up, add it to today's tracker. I can select my weekly review and away I go on my week just ended. That is the power of automated buttons. I'd love to hear from you guys on what other use cases you found for these buttons. Drop your new ideas and examples in the comments. Definitely jump onto bettercreating.com and check out the new Life OS templates. All of these features I've been waiting for to be released. Now they are. It's really going to supercharge how we use Notion to get organized in a second brain. And you can check out my latest video on all of that right here. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a wee like, as the Scottish would say, but not like that. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. I've really got to work on my accents.